Uh, hello, Trenes. Uh, hello, Trenes. Uh, today is the 8th of uh, July, uh, 2011, and uh, happy trading to you all. London is now closed, uh, but uh, New York is still open. Okay, for those of you who are new to us, uh, uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, Traders. Our website is www.stochastic-magdi.com. For all trade, we will use the 5% money management rules and uh, apply stop loss in all uh, trade. This video is for educational purposes only. It is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial uh, instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders. Okay? And the title of this video is uh, uh, High Frequency Trading Decisions. High Frequency Trading Decisions. Okay? We are looking at uh, spot gold, spot gold, gold as uh, commodity. Uh, this is the spot gold. Okay? We are on a 3 minute chart. Okay? Talking about uh, uh, high frequency trading, we are talking about scalping what I like to call a hot dose uh, a scalping, okay? A scalping at the highest level, okay? Uh, where uh, uh, a serious uh, uh, traders, okay, are scalping, okay, with a huge amount of money, uh, creating uh, a volatility in the market, okay? Now, one thing you need to remember that when we are talking about high-frequency trading, uh, we are talking about... Uh, programs that have been set, that has, has been programmed uh, to um, enter a trade and exit a trade according to uh, some uh, specific rules. And these programs are set to trade very f often on the 3 minute chart or on the 5 minute chart. Okay? So when we are talking about high frequency trading, these people are on a 2 minute, they are also on a 2 minute chart, 3 minute chart and 5 minute chart. And uh, these are not uh, traders sitting down taking the trade. These are computer programs. Uh, these are we call trading robots, okay? Uh, scalping uh, trading robot uh, to make decision on a two minute chart, three minute chart, or five minute chart, and uh, is uh, to enter the trade very fast and exit the trade very fast. Now, the purpose of this video is about uh, um, to reveal to traders the technical, okay? high frequency trading okay we are talking only in this video about uh, a technical high frequency trading uh, last week we did post a video regarding uh, high frequency trading uh, this is the second part of that uh, series of video that we are posting now regarding high frequency trading a very important subject how these people are trading they are trading on the lower time frame now we are on a three minute chart of uh, uh, a spot gold okay and uh, they, they come these uh, programs are using trend lines, okay, you see here, they probably touch it here, and touch it here, and uh, it went above it, okay, the, the, this trend line here, will remain on the chart, and the, 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 uh, the program will pay attention, we recognize that there was a trend line here, okay, now the price went up, it's very higher, higher here, after that, there will be what we call auto charting uh, a trend line here, and this trend line will be drawn, it's automatically done by what we call auto charting, okay, or chart pattern recognition software. So after this uh, higher low, the, the trend this trend line will be drawn on the chart, and uh, the decision are made on the lower time frame without paying attention, okay, to the higher time frame. Very often they won't pay attention to the higher time frame because the intention is to enter the market very fast and take profit out of the market very fast, okay. Now, uh, the negative part of that is that this uh, will affect a lot of uh, liquidity traders. Okay, if you are a liquidity trader, uh, it's not going to be easy anymore because those who are trading with level 2 trading, okay, level 2 trading, uh, they are watching the orders being placed. And what these traders are doing, they are watching the orders and when they see that uh, somebody is buying and at a certain price level, they want to enter the trade at the same level with a high volume uh, in order to participate in the direction of the market. But uh, it's not happening very often anymore because uh, these are high frequency traders, they would enter the trade. By the time a liquidity trader see the order coming to the market, they have already closed the trade. So you will see very often a bit of uh, uh, 
uh, liquidity traders losing because they see the order coming to the market or they see uh, one million uh, share being bought okay and they place the order also to buy at the same time because of the order that i have seen using the level two trading to look inside the market okay by the time they place the trade okay the high frequency trader are already out of the trade because the decision are made okay in a split of second to enter and to exit very fast according to the uh, parameters okay of the rule of entry and exit okay so like we have here this uh, trend line going up so as soon as the price come back and retest it okay uh, the computer will buy okay because as soon as the price now it did below it retest it here the computer will sell because uh, the, this is how the program is so it sell by when above it and retest it the computer will buy this is just uh, what i call a crazy trading and uh, but in fact the starting is that it's legalized and uh, it's perfectly okay and no one can stop these people they can do whatever they want to do and the danger of it like i told you before is because these people can change the direction of the market at any point so price at this point okay and display another lower low this trailer will be drawn and uh, as you can see the price below retest it the computer will sell and uh, another thing that you will notice that uh, these people will take profit so it will sell here and we take profit at the next support level at the same time the computer is drawing the trend line this is the auto charting we draw the trend line so it sell here the price come to a support level profit will be taken straight away very fast okay sell here and then it will take profit here straight away See, price when above it, retest the trend line, they will buy. Because this level here is a resistance level, you can see, price came and retest it. Because these people are making the decision on the 3-minute chart, 2-minute chart, price went back to the same resistance level, profit will be taken again. And then they will sell again. If I come back here, this time, for one reason or another, the support level here is broken, okay? Price went down. Touch it here, okay? So this is uh, a bit of idea how the high frequency traders are trading uh, violating what we call the stable data in the market that is the higher time frame command the low time frame and uh, because these people have a lot of money uh, they are doing all sorts of means uh, like i told you before there is a lot of distortion in the market and you can perfectly take advantage of that this is how uh, the high frequency traders are trading they are also using the uh, uh, chart patterns and one of the patterns that we have seen that these people are using on a lower time frame is the inverted head and shoulder. Anytime the computer recognizes uh, uh, an inverted head and shoulder, it will take advantage of it and uh, just trade it, okay, because of the uh, chart pattern recognition uh, software that detect the pattern, okay, the computer will just buy if it sees. Uh, this is like here, you see the price went down, okay, went up, and deep below here, this is the head, this is the uh the left hand side shoulder it tested here they will buy this is one of the favorite patterns that these people are using on the lower time frame without any consideration to the lower time frame there's no need to worry about it because uh, if you are using a tscw24 and you respect the rules you can perfectly continue to cream the market without worrying about what's happening here because all you need to do you do not fight uh, these people because these are participants in the market that's what i say to you do not fight any participant in the market but try to take advantage of the opportunity that are presented to you do not consider this as a danger but consider it as an opportunity and know exactly what's happening that's why we are showing you this here so you know exactly what's happening they will also draw a channel and uh the, because of the auto charting and the chart pattern recognition and as soon as uh, the price hit uh, uh, the upper side of the channel, the computer will be selling and uh, following the price. But the good thing about it is that um, they are trading the price, but they are trading the price on a lower time frame without combining. They are making the decision on one single time frame, which is dangerous, which can create what we call the flash crash, which in market can perfectly crash in one day in a split of seconds. It happened last May, okay? Last May, you remember when the market crashed very fast, only to, to recover very fast? These are the programs. So if you have many of uh, high-frequency traders, a lot of uh, robots, that's why we told traders, stay away from the robot, the programs. They will crash the market at one point, and they will do it again. All you need is that uh, 
uh, many of these uh, programs to be set up. I mean, uh, there are different companies using it, the bank, hedge fund, uh, using these similar programs. And uh, all you need is that uh, many uh, high frequency computers to receive the same order, like all, like you still have like uh, many uh, uh, hedge fund company to, to, to receive order to sell and their computer, their computer selling at the same time, boom, the price will crash down, okay? And uh, if they happen to be a very important resistance level and uh, ordinary traders also are selling, you can see that the whole market <laughs> will be sold out. On the other hand, they will push it up. That's why we see a lot of distortion. You see that the price coming to uh, what we call overbought zone, because uh, these programmers are not uh, watching the higher time frame, they just keep buying. Okay, they just keep buying because uh, if the price still above the trend, they just keep buying. Okay, they just keep buying, keep buying without uh, any knowledge that we are now in the overbought zone, and uh, is uh, what we call a market distortion and uh, you can perfectly take advantage of it that's why you see all the time one minute the market is up another minute is down okay so this is how these people are trading <laughs> on the lower time frame and uh, as i said to you uh, all you need to do is to understand how these people are trading they are using the chart pattern on the lower time frame without any respect to the higher time frame okay like here you see here it's consolidating the comp uh, the programs, uh, they will recognize that we are in a consolidation period and they will just uh, buy and sell. But because they are on a lower time frame, two minute, three minute chart, so you will buy from here to here and sell. Okay? Again, take profit here. They will do it on a lower time frame. So th this is what they are doing all the time. Okay? Just taking quick and fast profit because why suddenly, okay, this we have, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, more than 70% of the trade that are taken during the New York opening time uh, are taken by the computers. Now you understand that you are fighting with the programs, you are fighting with the machines. Why? Because, I mean, uh, you know, in 2008 the market crashed and a lot of uh, these hedge funds and all these, uh, I mean, uh, uh, trading company lost a lot of money because uh, they didn't understand uh, the price. And they lost, so uh, they have to change tactics. So the tactics now is that uh, uh, we're not going to bother to remain too long in the market. So we're just taking profit very fast uh, because of the experience that they have uh, go been through before. They lost a lot of money. This is it. Some of the company what they were doing, they were buying and selling at the same time. And all sorts of things. Another thing you have to understand that uh, when people are trading with somebody else's money, okay, they don't they don't care. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't care, but if they were trading with their own money, they would be more careful. That's all I want to say. They will be more careful. If you are trading with your own money, you will be more careful. So they lost a lot of money uh, during the crash of 2008. What has happened in 2008 is that uh, we saw that the market should return to its fair value. Like we are saying to you now, again, the market is due to come to its fair value. And what do we see? People are still buying. Okay, that's fine. It will take some time. Because sometimes you will see things, but it will take some time. But the market always will rectify itself. That's why you don't worry. You just follow the price. That's why you don't impose your intention on the price. Coming to the market that today, I'm coming to sell. Or today, I'm coming to buy. Now, who are you? I mean, follow the price. It's just simple, okay? So... Because so these people lost a lot of money <laughs> because they were trading uh, anyhow before, so they were bad traders. The banks are bad traders. Those are the smart traders are what we call the market specialists. These people, okay, if you know that somebody is a market specialist, show them my respect because these people they understand the price and they understand the market. But the bank does not. The bank they do not understand the market. They are they have a lot of money, but they trade like a useless traders. Now. This is saying something that is true, okay, not to put the banks down, but, uh, and they, they move the, the market, this is like a forcing, they are forcing the market where they want to, but they don't trade very well, okay, but if you know that, you, all you need to do is to know what a bank is likely to do, and take advantage of it, okay, so now, they, 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 you see sometimes they remain too long on the trade, because they don't know when to exit the trade, 
So they lost a lot of money. So now they say, okay, we're not going to remain too long in the market because we don't know what's going to happen. It happened to us before. What are we going to do now? We're going to just stay on the two minute chart, three minute chart, taking our profit with the stochastic, with the chart pattern, and with the trend line. And uh, we're going to be in and out, and uh, we can avoid all the the losses. That's what they are doing now. By doing that, they are messing up the market. And uh, in the long run, it's not going to be right now. They are making money. But what is uh, happening, as we know, if there is an action, there is a reaction. There are other traders that are right now trying to uh, trade against these uh, programs or try to understand. Uh, some other company being coming out, okay, trying to trade and uh, take advantage of these uh, high frequency traders. So it's going to be so far because this is something new. It will take some time before people understand how to trade. And uh, they're going to find it again very difficult. And we, know, we don't know what they're going to do next. <laughs> That's why I say to you, keep your eyes wide open and follow the price. We are looking on a 3-minute chart of spot gold. This is what we see today. Again, here, this is on a 3-minute chart, okay? Here, exactly here, this is what we are talking about, the news. Okay, can change the direction of the market. Here, there was a, a bad news today regarding the non-farm payroll. The data was, uh, was very poor, okay? So... But you look at gold, okay? Gold was perfectly gorgeous here for these uh, uh, these uh, people. The news come around this time here, but gold display a triple bottom here. It touch it here, touch it here, touch it here. Okay, high frequency traders will buy because they are trading on a five minute chart, on a three minute chart, on a two minute chart, the chart pattern. So they will buy here. At the same time, the news was coming out, and it happened to be bearish news for the dollar. A bearish news for the dollar is a bullish news for the gold because they are negatively correlated. So bearish news for the dollar, no farm payroll, very poor, a bad job creation in United States, gold will go up. Look what's happened. This is easy trade. I mean, even if you understand the news, you understand the fundamental a little bit regarding the correlation between the dollar or the U.S. economic and the gold. If there is uncertainty, there is a fear, this is what's happened. Boom! You see? And the gold spot uh, run from uh, uh, one one five two uh, six six. Okay, it went all the way to this zone of one five four four zero. Fast. Okay, huge. We see. So a high frequency computer. You see, he bought it here. Support level came here again. You see, tall candle. They bought it again. Returned to the same level. It happened to be that uh, the news was also supporting the movement here. They bought it here. Boom. Those are happened run fast gold gold spot now because the market the, this uh, gold spot went up very fast uh, we are now in a consolidation period on this three minute chart and what the high frequency trader will be doing their computer will perfectly recognize uh, you see that's what we said you keep your eyes on the price and no one will fool you okay so it doesn't matter what people are using just keep your eyes on the price on this three minute chart See, there is a consolidation. So, what the high frequency computer will be doing, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, and taking profit very fast. And they will be also drawing the trend line, even on this uh, uh, trend chart. So, there will be a trend line like this, on this three minute chart, they will draw this one also like this, on the three minute chart, and the computer will be following and respecting all this trend line on this uh, lower time frame. Okay? So, you have a bit of idea what you are facing <laughs> in this market. So, I hope you enjoyed this video also regarding uh, high frequency trading and uh, that you will put into practice in order, okay, uh, to cream the market uh, consistently, okay. Thank you for watching and uh, we will speak to you very soon. Uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders. Thank you for watching and we will speak to you uh, very soon.